Okay, this is the answer of module 6, solving rational equations and inequalities. So let's start with I, what I know. So choose the letter of the best answer, write the chosen letter in a separate sheet of paper. Number one, which of the following expressions is an inequality between two expressions containing one or more variables? So talking about equality of two expressions, it determines an algebraic equation. But there's no option here with an algebraic equation, so therefore the nearer answer is a rational equation since we're talking of rational equation. Okay, next, number two, what do you call a root obtained in the process of solving an equation which looks correct but after analyzing it turns out as incorrect? So that is called as extraneous solution. Okay, number three, what do you call an inequality which involves one or more rational expression? Inequality. So that is rational inequality. Number four, what is the usual technique to solve rational equation? So the answer is you are to multiply both sides of the equation by its least common denominator. That's how you will solve rational equation. Find the LCD and multiply it to both sides of the equation. Now for items number 5 to 9, refer to the rational equation below. x over 3 plus 1 fourth equals x over 2. Now, number 5, what is the LCD of the denominator 3, 4, 2? Very easy. Uh, LCD is 12. So the answer is letter D. It is counting by 3, counting by 4, and counting by 2s. The least common multiple of these three numbers is 12. So therefore, our LCD is 12. Okay, number 6. What property will be used if, if you multiply the LCD on both sides of the equation? Talking about multiplication on both sides of the equation, the correct is the multiplication property of equality. Now, after the multiplication property of equality, then we will apply the distributive property of real numbers. Okay. Now, number seven, what will be the new form of the equation after applying the property and simplifying? Here is it, the solution. So we have here the given x over 3 plus 1 fourth equals x over 2. Now, we are to find out its LCD. The LCD of 3, 4, and 2 is 12. And we are to multiply 12 on each of the side of the equations on the left side and on the right side. Okay. Now, multiplying this to, the, to 3, no, 12 divided by 3, that's 4 times x, that's 4x. 12 divided by 4, that's 3 times 1, that's 3. 12 divided by 2, that's 6 times x, that's 6x. And this, this is letter A in our, letter A in our number 7 option. Okay, number 8. What will be the solution of the given rational equation? So, to solve for there, that's 4x plus 3 equals 6x. Applying the addition property of equality, let's isolate 6x on the right side so we have to find ways by addition property of equality so sub subtract each of the side of the equation by 4x subtract this side by 4x and subtract also 4x on the right side and that's the rule in addition property of equality because what number you are adding or subtracting on the left will be the number also that you will add and subtract add or subtract on the right Okay, so we have 4x minus 4x, that's 0, bring down positive 3, and 6x minus 4x, that's 2x. Simplify further by multiplication property of equality. Let's multiply this one by 1 half, or 1 half, left, uh, uh, right and left. Or we could directly divide this one by 2, divide this one by 2, so our answer is 3 over 2, and this is letter B. Okay, number nine. How will you check if your solution is correct? Very easy. You are to substitute, you go back to the original given and substitute the value of x. And if come up true, so therefore your solution is correct. And it's letter B by substituting the answer in the original uh, equation. Number 10. If by solving a rational equation, you obtain a number that makes an expression in the equation undefined, then what will you do? So if it is undefined, so therefore that value of x is not part of the solution so therefore you reject that value of x because it is not part of the solution okay next number 11 which of the following is not an inequality sign okay obviously it's letter b because this is a radical symbol all a c and t are inequality sign now next number 12 express the graph of solution set into interval notation 
So this is the graph. So the circle here means 1 is not included as the value of x. And this negative 3, its graph is a solid. Solid, it's so therefore negative 3 is part of the solution or part of the value of x. And since we're talking about interval notation, all of this option is not an interval notation. These are all set notation. So talking about interval notation, the answer is bracket. Then bracket means the number near to the bracket is a number which is included as the value of x. This is the interval notation. And all of these are set notation. So if we are to base on set notation, the answer is letter A, set notation. But this is the interval notation. Okay, number 13. Below are the steps in solving rational inequality except. So, what is the answer? Put the inequality in general form. Set the numerator numerator in equal to 1 and solve. Uh, plot the critical values on the number line, breaking the number line into intervals, and take a test number from each interval by substituting it to the original inequality. And letter D, determine if the endpoints of the interval in solution should be included in intervals. So this letter A is correct. You are to set in general form, but this letter B, set the numerator and denominator equal to 1 and so No, this is incorrect. And the answer is letter D. Because... The correct way is you are to set the numerator equal to 0, not 1. And also the denominator equa equated to 0. So B is the answer. Now here for number 14, solve for the, for the solutions of the rational inequality. And I have here prepared a video. So kindly... Okay, this is the answer for number 14. X plus 3 over X minus 2 is less than or equal to 1. Now to solve this... You are to uh, change this one into its general form by transposing 1 to the left side. That's x plus 3 over x minus 2 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. So this one transpose to the left side or you could have used addition property of equality. Now afterwards, you will find its least common denominator of this x minus 2 and 1 here. So the least common denominator is x minus 2. Okay. Now, our least common denominator here is x minus 2. So when you divide x minus 2 divided by x minus 2, the answer is 1. Times x plus 3, the answer is x plus 3 here. Now, when you divide x minus 2 divided by 1, that's x minus 2 times negative 1. That's negative 1 times x minus 2. Is less than or equal to 0. Now, afterwards, okay, afterwards, you simplify x plus 3. x plus 3. Okay, negative 1 times x, that's negative x. And negative 1 times negative 2, that's positive 2. Over x minus 2. Now we have here positive x and negative x so this is cancel. This is cancel. So we have here 3. Okay, is less than or equal to 0. Now we have here 3 plus 2 that's 5 over x minus 2 is less than or equal to 0. Okay, next thing that you are going to do is we will equate the denominator into 0 to get the restricted value of x. So if there is only a variable on the, the numerator, we, could, we will equate also the numerator into 0. But this is a constant, then we will not equate anymore to 0. Only the denominator here. So x minus 2, the denominator, equate it to 0 to find the restricted values of value of x. So that is x is equal to positive 2. So this is the restricted value of x. Now, here. Next is you will draw a number line. Okay. And this would be positive 2. Now, let's test some of the points on the left side of 2, which is 0. And on the right side of 2, which is probably 4. Now, since 2 is the restricted value of x, the graph of this is a circle. It means 2 is not 
included as the solution of our rational inequality. Now let's test zero. If this is true, then all the values on the left side of zero are the answers. But if this is false, then automatically the right side of positive two are the answers. So it's either the answer is on the left side of positive two or either the answer is on the right side of positive two. So let's test zero. Test zero. So if this is true, then these are uh, the answers are on the left side of, zero, of positive two. Okay, here test zero. We will use uh, this one. Okay, that's five over x minus two is less than or equal to zero. So our x is zero, so we could have five over zero minus two is less than or equal to zero. So five over negative 2 is less than or equal to 0. Now, when we divide positive, divided by negative 2, the answer is a negative number. Negative number. So, negative 2.5, okay, is less than or equal to 0. Now, is this true? Is negative 2.5 less than 0? Okay, that's true. So, therefore, the answer is, uh, the answers or the value of x are on the left side of zero and this to write this in interval four okay since this is a circle not a solid so it's parenthesis now let's have two here then since okay and to express all the answers which is on the left side of zero we could have here until negative infinity and when we say negative infinity it should be a parenthesis so the answer is negative infinity to negative infinity in the interval negative infinity and two okay this is the answer or if we will express this one into set annotation this is, is a set of x such that x is less than positive 2. Okay, this is the answer in set builder form. X, a set of x such that x is less than positive 2. Okay.